customer complaint, no cooling. They don't use their AC that much. Customer just went up from Oregon, from the San Francisco Bay Area, and that's when they noticed their AC wasn't running, saying it wasn't cooling good. This is a hybrid Honda. I mean, why did I say there's their Honda? Yeah, Honda. <laughs> and um, YF refrigerant. Now, one thing I noticed when I went to go pick up on the hood was how tight the clearance was down here as if it was adjusted. I looked under the car to see if it was hit and it stuffed up the front core support. I didn't see no damage. Was wondering if it was in a body shop. Uh, but it is a Honda and they're supposed to leak. That's what Hondas do. They leak like sieves. But this one's leaking a little different. And I got vibrating leak detectors there. So this one is leaking right there and you can see where the tips of my probes for my leak detectors were looking for a leak and it wouldn't pick it up at this time but you can see how black and all the oil build up then you see the condenser where it gets silver it's dry then you see the oil stain starting and then getting really heavy right there now a lot of times uh if it was in a body shop they don't change the o-rings and if they put on an aftermarket condenser they took it on and off and damaged the o-ring I would say that i not able to pinpoint the leak yet. Oh, and another thing. So this thing has basically no refrigerant in it. Very little. We're talking ounces. The compressor just whining the piss. It's like at 6,000 RPMs and it'll just stay like that because it's a computer and it's stupid. And they have not programmed these things when it sees certain parameters to shut themselves down to save their life. Instead, it'll just keep winding faster and faster. And that's why it's just staying at 6,000 RPMs. Because all the dumb software knows is that the customer is calling for cooling, so they have it cranked down. So I'll just keep raising the RPM of my compressor because it's an electric three phase high voltage. Because I'm trying to push more pounds of refrigerant past the expansion valve to make it cool inside, but it's never getting there. So it just keeps those RPMs up until this thing will finally die. It doesn't happen right away. But how much damage has already been done to that compressor? How much life has been taken out about how hot it's running and how little oil is returning to it? So if, for you guys who like to see pressures, we got 1.3 degrees on the low side. We got 83 uh, degrees uh, PSI and 84 PSI on the high side. I'm gonna see if I could get this with high pressure nitrogen and pinpoint the difference between the O-ring at the fitting or the condenser. Um, of course, it falls out of the Toyota 2015 to 2000, 